Good morning, everyone. Everyone, I almost forgot what to turn the camera on. I was yakking. Oh, yes, I was. I had started. And then I realized, okay, you didn't push the button. But anyway, my head needs to be screwed on a little bit tighter this morning, y'all. I was kind of late rising, as a matter of fact. It's about 10 o'clock, and you know I'm up at maybe about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning for the most, most, most time, most of the time. And so I said, well, let me go to the store to get some water. I didn't make it, y'all. I said, no, nah, I ain't going to the store to get no water. I got some, I got a little bit of water in there. I think I got maybe four or five bottles. But the thing is, I don't like going out on Saturday. And that's why I had wanted to go out today, you know, just to pick up some water and some, uh, uh, something to eat for, you know, the weekend. Because I don't think I have any food up there for the weekend, John. I got, uh, well, I got that Italian sausage, but I don't want that. Who wants Italian sausage? You? You want Italian sausage? I see I cleaned my freezer out. Oh, this is the chicken. I forgot that chicken is already cooked. I got some. I'm looking for meat. I don't have any meat. And I meant to throw this sauce out. And then I, I forgot when I went to the dumpster. See, my freezer is empty. Still got my beans over there, though. Oh, I don't feel like going to the store. I really don't. I really feel lazy down in the dump. And then I said I'm going to make myself an agenda. I'm going to just sit down, write everything down, what I need to do, because it's still early. It's not, you know, it's just 10 o'clock. Let me turn my nerves down. My nerves are getting on my nerves. I think my nerves are a little shot this morning, y'all. They're probably shot because I was tossing and turning. It got so hot in here that the heat wouldn't go. You know, I, I told you I had a problem with that heat. And sometimes, you know, um, the heat just uh, keeps going and going and going. And it won't turn off until it gets like 83 degrees in here. And I'm in bed. I'm sweating. And I said, let me put that on my agenda. Then I got to wash my hair. I mean, it was starting to get a little kinky, you know what I mean? And my hair don't usually get kinky. But because of the sweat, you know, and the fact that it probably needs, you know, it needs washing anyway. And so, I had to get up, turn the heat off, turn the cover. You know, I got a lot of cover on my bed. Because I'd rather be, you know, get warm in the bed that way than to get warm from the heat. That's just me, you know. Maybe everybody else could sleep in that all that heat. I don't like a lot of heat. I'd rather get in my bed, snuggle down, and get warm and comfortable. And you know, that's what we used to do down home. We only had heat in like one room. I think I'm repeating myself on this one. But we had heat in one room, and that's what the room, like, like we used to call it the setting room. And, you know, you had the, uh, that's where you had your heater at, and then you had your TV in there, and you had your little couch or whatever in there. And that's where the family gathers, right there in that one spot. But when it was time to go to bed, you went into a cold room, but you had all these quilts on top of you. And, you know, and back in the day, I wish I had some of those quilts now that we had back there in the day. You know, my mother sit down and put all these little pieces together. Now, that, I've made a quilt, but I've never completed a quilt. <laughs> I made like the top of it. And uh, matter of fact, my mother made one like that too, cause she had it hanging up to the basement door in the basement uh, to keep the air out. <laughs> I don't know what she had it up there, but anyway, she had it up to the door. And I have used a lot of scraps, you know, like old clothes. But I made like big blocks. That's when I was really into sewing. I don't know what happened to my attempted quilt that I made. And it was made like in big blocks and squares and you know rectangles like that, stuff like that. And just put together. 
but I didn't put no backing on it, no batting inside or anything like that. Like I said, I never completed the whole quilt. I don't even know. I moved around so much, you know, like we moved every two years when I was married. Every two years. And the longest time, the longest place we ever stayed was, I think, one place we stayed uh, uh, for 10 years. It gave the family, you know, the children some kind of stability, you know, because we was moving around so much. I said, my goodness, by the time you get, you know, settled in one place and think you're getting really to notice some of the neighbors and stuff like that, it's time to pack up and move. But anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. I think I was talking about making quilts. And uh, when I was really into sewing, you know, that was uh, when we lived in that one uh, apartment for over 10 years. That's when I did a lot of sewing. And, uh, but I never finished a quilt. Never, ever. I finished a lot of products. As you can see, you know, stuff like this here that I was showing you, this is from scraps. Well, I've shown you all my... Um, accomplishments as far as the crochet and that's because I love the crochet but them little strings the little uh, strings that you're supposed to weave in I've got that on quite a few quilts in there that I need to finish and that's what I say I keep telling myself that's a task I need to put on my agenda it's gonna come above and be you know all others put it above all others and get it done Having a cup of coffee, y'all. I didn't get my coffee right this morning, tell you that. That's that um instant coffee. I didn't uh, put it in my Mr. Coffee or nothing. But it ain't bad. Just sat here and got a little cool, that's all. But you know, the strange thing is, when you put that hazelnut in there, it's good whether it's cold or hot. Well, to me, I can only speak for myself, it's, it's good. And right now, it's sort of like a uh, room temperature. But anyway, on my agenda, I washed all my clothes at the earlier part of the week. Done. Kick. I did part of the bathroom, but I didn't do the whole bathroom because I wanted to wash my bathroom rugs. Only got like, you know, one set of bathroom rugs that I put in there, and that's it. I don't have a lot of, you know, change of like one get dirty change the other. I always have that one set in there. Well, it's actually two rugs, two red rugs, believe it or not, in the bathroom. And so I used to put them in the washing machine and just wash both of them. And they're nice size rug about, yeah, y'all yeah, probably seen them. And, and, and I didn't do those. And so I got to do those. I ain't done it yet, so I can't check that yet. When I take the trash out, which is due today, actually, and I got some mail here I got to go through. I got some mail on the floor, some mail over there, and I, you know, it's something that I got to look into, especially the one about, you know, my identification, because, you know, it's time is uh, of the essence for that, because my birthday's next month. So I got to get it done. I got to get it done, y'all. And then um, I've got a reminder up there on the uh, refrigerator for my offices. I got to go to the office for my recertification. And so I got to go over there. That shouldn't take too long, but nevertheless, it's on the same day. I realized it's on the same day that I have the appointment for my cardiologist. So I got to remember to call her and change that appointment. I'm not going to change my cardiologist. To me, that's more important than this. And so I got to remember to call her to reschedule another appointment with her. You know, unless she wants to schedule another time, same day, same, you know, just a different time. That would be fine with me. And, uh, ooh, got broken ends too. I mean, uh, what do you call it? Split ends. I just felt split. I feel split ends. Yeah. Well, it's time. It's time, y'all, to do it all. And what's the other thing on my agenda? My refrigerator. I've got to do the, the refrigerator. I forgot how to say that in Spanish. But 
I got to do that because all that stuff in that door has got to go. And I think all of my jams and jelly, I think I got grape jelly, strawberry jam or something like that. And I don't even know what it is anymore, y'all. And then I've got the salad dressings from, you know, tossed salads from cookouts from last year or something. But I think you could use that, that dressing for something else besides, you know, just a tossed salad. Because uh, I've made the uh, noodles, you know, you make the uh, spaghetti. And then you chop up some onions and green peppers or whatever you want to put in there. And then just put that dressing over in the cucumbers. It is good when you make the noodles. It is so good. So, I don't know if that's quite... How long does that stuff last? I don't. I really don't know. I, I had never checked into it. I used to buy like the bottle during the summer, which I haven't. I didn't buy it. I didn't have no cookout last summer. So they might have been in there a couple of years, maybe. But there is one. Let me see it. There's one that I use. I think it's the creamy one. Now, I'll just buy me some um, uh, tomatoes. Let's see, is this it? Yeah, this one. Creamy Italian. I usually buy this, and, you know, it usually be better. Look at that. All that. Oh, put that on top. Just on some tomatoes and eat it like that, y'all. That's what I usually do for that, but I'm going to throw it all out and start from the fresh. You know, I don't need it right now. I don't need the... Uh, I don't need any new dressings right now, but like I said, you know, I'm probably going to have a cookout uh, this year. But in the meantime and in between time, I want to clean that out of my refrigerator just like I did in my freezer. You see, I emptied my freezer loop. And um, I got to go to the store, but I don't want to go to this stop and shop over here. I want to go to the stop and shop and the shop right. Get pick up some meat, fill my freezer up. And since we're going to be getting some new, well, the situation with my ride is uh, just about being resolved. As of March the 17th, we don't have to schedule a ride a whole week in advance. We can call a ride the same day or the day before. As a matter of fact, I got, uh, the lady called me yesterday and told me I have to do uh, the info. Uh, uh, you know, like a little application. She said I could do it online or she would send me an application. I said, okay, well, send me one then. But I'm going to see if I can do it online, if I remember how to upload my picture and all that because my printer does not work. But my uh, picture, you know, I can send that uh, picture ID. And, uh, and this is, you know, the little flyers that she sent me telling me all about the situation which to me is great but the one thing one thing she says uh, you know the thing says that uh the price is different it's going to be five dollars and for each additional i think it's two miles for each additional two miles, you know, over the regular, I guess, a certain a mileage. I got to read that thing again. And you pay your $5. And it says something about you having to have an account. You don't pay, you know, up front. Like, you know, you just jump in there and go. Hey, sound good to me because I might not have a change. I'm good for that. Even though when I went to the store the other day, I asked to let you know because I'm thinking of this my ride. I'm getting ready. Okay, because I'm going to be going, okay? And so I asked her, I, you know how you get changed back when you uh, go to the grocery store if you want to take money out of the bank or something like that. And so they ask you, you know, do you want some? And I said, yes. I asked her, I said, do you have four or $5 bills? And she said, yes. And when she checked out, guess what she gave me? She handed me a 20. And then I had to say again, I said, uh, do you have four or $5 bills? And she said, I forgot, I'm sorry. And so she gave me four, that's where I got those four or $5, because I don't have money. I, I really don't have money. And so I said, I'm ready. When they're ready to pick me up, you just wait till the, I think it begins officially. The new thing starts on the set. Well, the, if you have 
the regular ride, I think it is. And you got tickets, you know, because you have tickets. I don't know if y'all even know what I'm talking about or not. It's on the My Ride thing for elderly people and, and people with uh, maybe a disability or something like that. Uh, the ride usually be $3.50. But this particular uh, situation here is going to be $5. Five bucks. And each additional two miles, I think, that you go, it's going to cost you another, I think it said $2.90. I think I'm probably going somewhere at least twice a month. Maybe three times. It depends, you know. The mood will feel like I'm, I'm in. Sometimes I might go just to be going somewhere, you know. Just to get in the wind and get out of the house and let the breeze hit your face. You know, just like the dog. Hang your head out the window and stick your tongue out. Woo. Brother, I can't wait. And the spring is coming up too. Y'all already right? know I'm ready. Hell yeah. Heck to the yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to go. And I didn't used to like to go like that. But now, you know, that I'm older, it seems like uh, I'm going to go. You know, no strings attached. I have no, you know, nobody holding on to my eighth and string and no, no ball and chain or nothing. I'm free as a brick. I am just free. I'm just ready to go, and I want to be out. That's why I was thinking about joining the um, Planet Fitness. And see, with this, I could just go, and they could just come pick me up after I'm done. You know, go there and ride the bike. That's it. I ain't doing nothing strenuous. You know, just ride the bike. And um, come on back home. Yeah. Because after all, you know, I'm 78 years old, but I can do certain exercises, you know, that's not going to uh, mess with my body too much. You know, like being all sore, can't hardly move. Y'all know the feeling. It can't hardly move. And then you, ooh, eh, it, all my bones are aching. But see, the thing is, you'll get used to it if you don't overdo it. I just say start small. I tell everybody, start small, you know what I mean? No matter what you do, take baby steps. You know, baby, he crawls before he walks. You know, some babies crawl on one leg. <laughs> <laughs> you see the baby crawl, the baby's got his butt up in the air. He's crawling, he's, go, he's getting to, from point A to point B, I bet you that. And you know, <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that, because I just see the baby crawling around. He's, he's on one leg. I don't know if you've ever, ever seen a baby do that. And he got one leg that he's got bent, and the other one, he's just going along, going along about his business. To him, that's normal, you know? <laughs> Put him on the couch, he turns over, gets off the couch, gets off the bed. You turn around, he's in the crib, you turn around, the baby's right behind you because you didn't get out of the crib. <laughs> I miss those days, too, you know, there's enough stuff like that, too. It's funny when you look back on it. But it wasn't funny then, especially when you want you some sleep and the baby won't let you go to sleep. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I needed that laugh anyway. But anyway, getting back to what I want to do. I want to run the um, my coffee maker. It's time to do that again. Put some vinegar in it, you know. But I didn't make this, co this coffee here. This is um, instant. You know, like I said, I bought the wrong one yesterday. But I still have the other kind too, you know, the kind you got to put into the Mr. Coffee. And so I want to run that with uh, some vinegar. And I found a spider came crawling up out of my, my, my Mr. Coffee one time. I was like, what the heck is this? I don't want them little cold weather spiders. But he still didn't have a minute in my Mr. Coffee, and I don't understand how he got in there from the giddy up. You know, how did he get in there? But he was crawling up out of there, opened the top of it up, there he is, crawling around. And you know, I had to assassinate him. I don't know. I did away with him. I just, ugh. Just called me an Al Capone. <laughs> yes. I did. I did that. But you know the only thing I really feel kind of bad about killing is a butterfly or um, 
Daddy Long Leg. I don't like killing them. There was something they used to say about that down home. You know how them old people down home got all this. Don't do this. Don't go under the ladder if a black cat crosses your path. Well, you know, I'm still kind of leery of that right on today. You know, hey, if a black cat crosses your path, you're supposed to turn around. Wait a minute. You turn around and go back. And then if you walk under a ladder, I still don't walk on a ladder too swift. Uh, what's the other thing? I forgot. Uh, I forgot now. I have to think of it later, y'all. But it was a whole lot of stuff, you know, if you do, you, you know, break a mirror. Seven years of bad luck. I said, oh my God, I can't break this mirror. I broke a mirror before, you know. I was grown and I still thought about that seven, and it seemed like it might have been seven years of bad luck. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But I tell you, I don't walk on that old ladder too swift. And if I see a black cat, I'm leery. That was, remember that cat I told you that was on my on my uh, front porch that was sleeping up there on my porch? He was black. I think he had a little white on though. I don't think he was completely black. But he might have had a little white somewhere. I don't know. It seemed like I saw him white, but. And then one night when I turned, you know, I, I saw him laying up there on the stool because I had my stool out there, the one I threw away. And he laying up there, curled up. You know, a cat curls up. And I took my flashlight. I don't have it in here. I took my flashlight and shined it at him. He looked, it looked like he wanted to know what the heck, where is this light coming from? But he didn't move. He didn't go nowhere. I said, well, blow me down. But he was black. But I was in my bed, so, you know, I ain't crossing his path. But I think the very next day, I took the uh, stool and set it, you know, sort of outside in the grass. Because I didn't want him on my porch. Ain't seen that cat since. But, y'all, yeah, if I'm going to continue to talk, I will never get anything done. And today is my mop day for my chicken. Seems like I already mopped this. I mop, well, I can just wipe it. I ain't got to mop it. Because I'm always spilling something in the kitchen. But, you know, if I see it, I get it. I try to get it right then and there. But still, that, that floor needs to be taken up. All my floors need to be taken up. So I ain't worried about it. But I do want to keep it, you know, I don't want nothing crawling around in here. Thank God we don't have no roaches. I, if they are, I haven't seen them, but believe me, I've been looking for them. Because they say this lady, you know, this was last year, though. I think I said that before. They said she had bed bugs real bad and, and how filthy her house was. Uh-uh. No, I ain't the greatest housekeeper, but I ain't the worst one either. Mm-hmm. I wish y'all could come over and have coffee with me. How do you like that? Have coffee. And I was thinking about, I hear this lady talking about she's having a giveaway. I said, when the shit I have a giveaway? I could give all those coffees away. I gotta think about it. I gotta figure out how she was doing it again. I forgot who it was now, but I, I've seen several um, people on that. Uh, YT, you know, they give they give something away to their subscribers uh, when they reach a certain... Okay, say if you're striving for a thousand, you're, you're striving to get uh, a thousand subscribers or, you know, so that you could get monetized or something like that or become a, a what do they call it? A creator or a YouTube partner pro or something, whatever it is, you know. A special thing that's coming up. You maybe you get the plaque, you know, the uh, YouTube button, and so they give, you know, a prize, uh, uh, something to someone. So I got to think about that. I said, well, yeah. I said I could do that. I could um, get one of the clothes away or two. 
Yeah, that's what we'll think about. I gotta, I gotta uh, figure out how to do it, not, you know, how it's done. I guess, you, you know, whoever, okay, say like for instance, if I have a couple of questions that you gotta answer about me, and of course you have to be subscribed because I, I, I'm, I'm losing subscribers, so I need to have the subscribers and the thumb be up. Well, they ain't got, I don't think you have to thumb be up, but do you? I don't know. But anyway, you have to be a subscriber. And I can ask a like a uh, question about myself. Maybe, um, what do I say when I'm closing my video or something like that? You know, like I go with love, something like that. If you know that answer, or I would have to think of maybe a couple of couple of things like that, and then you you know you'll be entered into the drawing of you know, or to get the that spread, I mean, uh, the Afghan, whatever it is, baby blanket, whatever. I kind of think it's through, y'all. But, but I was thinking it would be a great idea because I, I said I never thought to do that. I, I didn't. I really did not. So, that's something to think about. If y'all want to subscribe and if you want to uh, get into, you, you know, I got to decide which which uh, cover that I want to give, and, you know, we'll figure it out. Maybe I'll do that maybe once a month, you know, uh, give a prize or something like that. And on that note, I got to get up here and get busy. Y'all know I got work to do. I can't talk to you all day unless you want me to now. I can, I can run my mouth a while, you know, but not all day, I don't think. I probably get a dry mouth, but all I need is a glass of water, and I'd be straight. And on that note, I go with love. See you again soon.